Welcome in, everyone, to Lively Lewis Stories. That's right. We're back with even more awesome adventures with Levi and Ivy. Set your story time meter to fun and get ready to join the Lively Lewis crew. All you need is your imagination and... Off we go! I can't wait to see where our story takes us today. Have you ever wanted to get more Lively Lewis in your life? Well, we've got you covered. Grab an adult and zoom over to LivelyLewisShop.com. Or just click on the link in our show notes. Enough about that. Let's get to today's super Lively Lewis story. Levi was always a great soccer player, a standout on all the teams he played on. His coaches were always saying, great defense, Levi. Nice goal, Levi. What would we do without you, Levi? If you're this good now, imagine what you'll be like in a few years. Levi just became used to always hearing how great he was when he stepped on a soccer field. From a young age, he learned to show good sportsmanship, to encourage his friends, and to help others, and to always work as a team. He was also always used to winning and was not used to sharing the spotlight. That just meant he wasn't used to others being as good as he was. So when a new kid moved into town, Levi quickly learned a very important lesson. It's not always about you, and sometimes we don't get what we want. Levi was warming up before one of his soccer games by doing some dribbling drills with his friends. Levi played on a really great team called the Swarm. Great job, Mia, Levi called out. Just keep working on your footwork, and you'll be racing past defenders in no time. As Levi was taking a few shots at the goal, he noticed his coaches talking with some people he had never seen before. Then, as they were talking, a young boy about his age joined their group. I wonder who that is, Levi said to himself. He can't be a new player, can he? Tryouts for the team Levi played on were very competitive and ended last week. His team had been practicing together since then, and in Levi's opinion, they were pretty much perfect. Levi stood near the goal, trying to figure out who this new kid could be, when his coach called him over. Hi, coach, said Levi, running up to the group. Hi there, Levi. I wanted you to be the first to meet Logan. He'll be joining the Swarm team, said Levi's coach. What? Levi thought to himself, how is that possible? He's going to make the team without even trying out? Now I know what you might be thinking. How was Logan on the team if he didn't try out? Said Levi's coach, interrupting his thought. Um, maybe a little bit, Levi said with a confused look on his face as he tried to be polite. Well, he did try out, just not with the others, Levi's coach began. His parents contacted me when they knew they'd be moving into our town. Logan is a fabulous soccer player and wanted a chance to join our team. They couldn't make it down for the tryout, so I arranged to meet up with Logan and give him a private tryout. Levi understood now and was quick to say hello to Logan. Welcome to the swarm, said Levi, giving Logan a big smile. Happy to be here, <laughs> laughed Logan. Get it? Be like your mascot. Levi was already laughing and nodded his head. That was a good one. Do you want to run some drills with me before the game starts? Asked Levi. Sure, that would be great. I just have to change into my uniform and I'll be right back answered Logan as he ran off to suit up for the game. Thank you, Levi. I knew you'd be the perfect teammate to welcome Logan to our swarm team, said Levi's coach. Totally. I'm happy to do it, said Levi. I can start out slow with some easy drills and see how he does, and then we can move up from there. Well, actually, I don't know if you'll have to start with the easy stuff, answered Levi's coach. Logan is a pretty great soccer player. Back home, he was named MVP soccer player under eight in his entire state. And he's already been scouted by some middle schools. Isn't that great? He'll be a great addition to the Swarm, and with the two of you on the field together, I can't wait to see what you'll be able to do. Levi's coach patted him on the shoulder and ran off to wrangle the rest of the team for some pre-game stretching exercises. Logan ran back over toward Levi from across the soccer field. He was wearing his Swarm uniform now, and as he dribbled his soccer ball, Levi was beyond impressed with his footwork and noticed he was getting an odd feeling in his stomach. It wasn't just a stomach ache or pregame jitters. It was something he had never felt before. He just wanted to brush it off for the moment because it was getting close to game time and he wanted to focus on that. Hey, Logan, you're amazing at dribbling. I've never even seen some of those moves before, said Levi. Wow, thanks, Levi. Beam Logan, I've been playing soccer ever since before I can remember. I love it. It's my favorite thing in the whole world to do and I'm so happy to be on the Swarm. I've heard so many great things about the team and about you. Really? said Levi with a big smile. What have you heard about me? That you're one of the best players in the whole league and that you dominate on defense and offense, said Logan. Now how about we go out there and see what we can do together? Sounds good to me, answered Levi as he felt the weird feeling in his stomach start to go away. 
The ref sounded the whistle for the teams to get ready to start. The Swarm huddled up, and their coach introduced everyone to Logan. He told them all about what a great soccer player Logan was and how he wanted them to all welcome him to the team. Okay, everyone, we're up against a great team today, so let's give it our best and have fun out there, said the Swarm's coach. The team roared with excitement and put their hands up for a cheer. One, two, three, Swarm! They all shouted together. Logan, I'm going to have you play center forward, began the coach. Levi is our striker, so I want you two working together out there to get some goals. Sound good? Sounds great, Levi and Logan said together. As they ran out onto the field, Logan smiled at Levi. Levi was excited to see just how good Logan was in a game situation, and it didn't take long to get his answer. The whistle sounded to start the game, and the swarm launched the ball down the field. Logan was the first to reach it, and what happened next was something that Levi and the rest of his team had never seen. It was like they were watching a World Cup game. Logan's control of the soccer ball as he dribbled past defenders was effortless. He was so precise with every move, turn, and fake out that the other team didn't know what was going on. Once he got in scoring position, Logan kicked the ball straight into the goal for the Swarm's first goal of the game, and that wouldn't be his last. Great job, Logan, shouted his coach. Levi just stood there and noticed that weird feeling in his stomach returned. Hey friends, what do you think Levi is feeling right now? He ran back to set up at midfield and the game distracted him from the feeling as he ran up and down the field. He was playing well and even scored a goal. Logan was the first to run up and congratulate him, but Logan scored three more goals that game and after it was all over, the Swarm had won five to three. Wow, what a game, exclaimed the Swarm's coach as he talked to the team on the sideline. Everyone played great out there, but we had one standout who gets my pick for Swarm Superstar of the game. And today, I'd like to congratulate. But before his coach could finish what he was saying, Levi started to smile. He did this because he was often the swarm superstar of the game. But as his coach finished his sentence, Levi felt that nagging feeling in his stomach return. And today, I'd like to congratulate Logan for an amazing first game with us. Four goals and some great defense out there. Good job, buddy, said the swarm coach. But don't forget that everyone else did their part to make today's win possible. The coach then went around as he did after every game, complimenting each player on something they excelled at that game. Levi, nice goal and great passing today, said his coach. You and Logan work really well together. Uh, yeah, um, thanks coach, answered Levi as the team got up to leave. Levi, great game, said Logan. I'm really looking forward to practice tomorrow. I have some cool moves I want to teach you. See you then. Levi stood there stunned. You have some moves you can show me? He thought to himself. Levi was not used to anyone else on his team being better than him, and there was that feeling again. Levi's parents walked over to him after Logan had left and congratulated him on a great game. I guess, said Levi. What do you mean you guess? Everyone played great, especially that new kid Logan, said Levi's dad. Wow, he's amazing. You are both going to learn a lot from each other this year, I bet. I guess, muttered Levi. Is that all you can say today? joked Levi's mom. I started Levi when his dad interrupted him. You guess, laughed his dad finishing his sentence. Yep, said Levi looking down at the ground. Why don't you head back to the car and let me talk with Levi for a minute, said Levi's dad to his mom. Levi's dad grabbed Levi's soccer ball and started dribbling it toward the field. Follow me, he called to Levi. They kicked the soccer ball back and forth as Levi's dad asked if he had anything he wanted to talk about. Kind of. Levi began. I had this weird feeling in my stomach on and off today during the game, and a little before the game too. Did it start after you met Logan? Asked his dad. Yeah, how did you know that? Levi asked, stopping the soccer ball so he could listen to his dad. Because I think I know what that feeling is, said his dad. It's called jealousy, and it's a feeling you get when you want what someone else has, like you with Logan. You wanted those goals he got. You wanted those dribbling moves he has, and you wanted to be swarm superstar today. Am I right? Levi didn't know what to say because his dad was right and it didn't make him feel good. I guess you might be a little right, Levi said quietly. It's just that I've always been a standout player on this team. Soccer is my thing and today with Logan here, it wasn't. Levi stopped and thought about what he wanted to say next until his dad finished his sentence for him. All about you, said Levi's dad putting his arm around Levi's shoulder. I want you to know that it's normal to feel the way that you did, but you can't let it consume you. You can't let it be the only thing that you think about when you're with Logan. It's important to know that it's not always about you. 
Life, like soccer, is a team sport, and we can't always have what we want all the time. Levi listened closely to everything his dad was saying. His words were starting to make Levi's stomach feel better, but he still felt a little upset. Levi and his dad headed home, and once he got there, he told Ivy about what had happened. Wow, Logan sounds like he's a great soccer player, said Ivy. Sorry, I guess you wouldn't want to hear that after feeling the way you did. When Ivy said that, it made Levi feel bad. He was always so supportive of everyone on his team, in his class, and in his life in general. He was always happy when other people did well. So why was he feeling jealous when Logan excelled in soccer? Levi went to find his dad and continue their conversation from earlier. You're doing a really great job working through your feelings, Levi, and you have lots of good questions, said Levi's dad. You're feeling bad when Logan does well because you think he's going to replace you on the team as a standout player, which is simply not true. Yes, your team is stronger with Logan on it, but it's stronger with you on it too. I understand, Dad, said Levi. I should support Logan no matter if he's better than me or not, because in doing that, the team benefits, and that's what it's all about. Sportsmanship and teamwork. And the more I work with others that have skills to teach me, the better I'll become. Wow, you are one smart kid, Levi. I am so proud of you, said his dad, giving Levi a high five. The next day at practice, Levi couldn't wait to get there and run plays and drills with Logan. His swarm coach put them in together, and for the first half of practice, they worked with each other. Great job, Logan, shouted the swarm coach from the sidelines. Everyone take a look at Logan's footwork as he moves past Levi. Let's all give some of those moves a try. Levi was doing all he could to feel proud of Logan just then and not let his jealousy win out. After all, his coach was saying so many great things about Logan. But as he watched his new teammate, he noticed a few things Logan was doing that could really help him as well. When it was Levi's turn to be on offense, he dribbled up to Logan, used one of the moves Logan had used on him, got around him, and scored. Now that's what I'm talking about, called out the swarm coach. Nice job, Levi. You're paying attention, and it shows. Levi smiled and really appreciated his coach's encouraging words. Okay, everyone, let's grab some water, called out the coach as everyone ran to get a drink. Hey, Levi, I just wanted to say thank you for being so nice to me, Logan began as he sat next to Levi. I've been on a bunch of soccer teams, and since I'm pretty good, lots of my teammates don't really like me. They think I'm showing off or trying to steal their position. I'm I'm really not. I just love playing soccer. You don't need to thank me, Logan, Levi replied. I'll be honest. I was a little, well, jealous when you outscored me in yesterday's game. I didn't know why I felt the way I did until I talked to my dad. He explained to me that I should be supportive of everyone in my life and learn all I can from others that are better than me. Better than you? Logan said, sounding shocked. I think you're better than me. What you said is a really big compliment. After I tried out and met the coach, he told me all about you and what a great combo we'd make on the field. Wow, he said that? Levi said with a smile. Well, I think he's right. I can't wait for our next game. The Swarm players returned to their practice and then on to their game the next day. Levi and Logan dominated the field, each scoring two goals and helping their team to win another game. Great game, Levi and Logan, called out their coach. I'm really proud of how well you're working together. Thank you, coach called out Levi and Logan. And they all cheered when their goalies got Swarm Superstar of the game. It felt really great to celebrate and win as a team. Levi, called out his dad from the sidelines. I'm assuming your stomach is feeling fine today. Absolutely, dad, answered Levi running over to his dad. I even talked to Logan about how I was feeling and how you explained to me that being a team player is more important than being a standout. Levi's dad gave him a hug and they started to walk to their car. Hey, Levi, called out Logan. I wanted to see if you'd like to come over to my house for dinner tonight. I thought we could play some video games and you could check out my treehouse. Like I said before, it's been hard to make friends on all the different teams I've played on, and I feel really lucky to have met you. You're not just a teammate, but I think we could be good friends too. I completely agree, Logan. I'd love to stop by your house, said Levi. Is that okay, Dad? Fine with me, said his dad with a smile. So Levi ran off with Logan to start a wonderful friendship, both on and off the soccer field. Because that day, Levi learned, with the help of his dad, that not everything we do will be all about us. And being a team player and a good friend is way more important than being a standout. Want to start a podcast? Spotify has an easy, free platform called Spotify for Podcasters. Here's how it works. Record and edit your podcast on your phone or computer with ease. Share your podcast on Spotify and all other major platforms. You can even make video podcasts on Spotify. If you want to engage with your audience more, use Q&A and polls. You can earn money through ads and podcast subscriptions. It's completely free, no hidden cost. Give it a try. 
Visit www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. We love making our podcast and working with Spotify has been amazing. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed the story and learned a little something too. And since we know everyone has their own story, we'd love to hear yours. If you have an idea for a Lively Lewis story, leave a comment on our Apple podcast review page with five stars, your idea, and your little one's name. Then maybe our next adventure will be with you. Until our next story time hangout. Thanks for listening. We can't wait to share another fun Lively Lewis story with you.